Cigarettes versus vaping. Which one is actually killing you faster? Cigarettes are a disaster for your body. Every puff delivers over 7,000 chemicals, including at least 70 known carcinogens like benzene, formaldehyde, and arsenic. Tar coats your lungs, carbon monoxide starves your organs of oxygen, and tobacco-specific nitrosamines directly damage your DNA. The result? Smoking kills 480,000 Americans every year. That's lung cancer, heart disease, COPD, and stroke. About 80% of lung cancers are caused by smoking, and smokers die an average of 10 years earlier than non-smokers. Now compare that to vaping. Vaping eliminates combustion, which sounds great, and it does mean 95% fewer toxic chemicals compared to cigarettes. There's no tar, no carbon monoxide. But here's the reality check. Vaping is not safe, it's just less deadly. E-cigarettes still contain nicotine, which raises blood pressure, increases heart attack risk, and is highly addictive. The vapor contains formaldehyde and acetaldehyde, both carcinogens formed when propylene glycol and glycerin are heated. You're also inhaling heavy metals like nickel, lead, and cadmium from the heating coil, plus ultrafine particles that penetrate deep into your lungs. Diacetyl, used in some flavorings, has been linked to bronchiolitis obliterans, a serious lung disease called popcorn lung. Remember the E. Volley outbreak in 2019? Nearly 3,000 people were hospitalized, and 68 died from vaping-related lung injury, mostly linked to vitamin E acetate in illicit THC cartridges. Both smoking and vaping damage your cardiovascular and respiratory systems. Studies show vapors have similar vascular problems and endothelial dysfunction as smokers. The nicotine content in both raises heart disease risk. Here's the bottom line for harm reduction. If you're a current smoker trying to quit, switching completely to vaping is the lesser evil. Studies show it's the most effective smoking cessation tool available. But here's the catch. Many people end up doing both, called dual use, which gives you zero health benefits. You're still getting all that cigarette damage. And if you don't smoke at all, don't start vaping. You're just exposing yourself to unnecessary risks for no reason. The safest choice? Neither.